Here we're being asked to multiply two numbers that are written in standard form. It's a bit like the question 3x to the power of 5 multiplied by 2x to the power of 3. What we're doing is we're looking at the two numbers at the front and we're multiplying them together. So in this case we've got 3 times 2 which is 6 and we've got x to the power of 5 multiplied by x to the power of 3. We multiply, we add the powers, so 5 plus 3 is 8. So it's the same thing in standard form. We've got 3 times 2, which makes 6, and we've got 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3, and that's 10 to the power of 8, and that's the answer. So same thing again here, we've got 5 times 7, which is 35, and we've got 10 to the power of 6 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3, which is 10 to the power of 9. Now that question isn't finished because the answer is not in standard form. This here, 35, is bigger than 10, so we can't have it because a number in standard form has got to have the number at the front between 1 and 10. So we're going to have to have this as 3.5. So 35 is 3.5 times 10. So that hasn't changed. 3.5 times 10 is the same as 35 times 10 to the power of 9. Now 10 by itself is to the power of 1. So we've got 10 to the power of 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9, which is 10 to the power of 10. That's the final answer. This question is division, but it's the same process. So we've got the two numbers at the front, we divide them. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And we've got 10 to the power of 4 divided by 10 to the power of 8. When we divide indices, we subtract the powers. So 4 take away 8 is negative 4. That's the answer. And again, here we've got 3 divided by 6, which is a half, 0 0.5. And we've got 10 to the power of 7 divided by 10 to the power of 5. 10 to the power of 2. But this is not in standard form because we need a number between 1 and 10 again. So we're going to have to times this by 10. So we're going to have to take one of the 10s off here in order to do that. So if I times that by 10, that means I've got to take one off of here. And then that's the final answer. OK, here's some questions that you can have a try at. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go through the answers afterwards. Okay, so firstly here, number 1, we've got 2 times 3, which is 6, and 10 to the power of 4 times 10 to the power of 5, which is 10 to the power of 9. Second one, 3.5 times 2, 2 3.5 is a 7, 10 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 7, 2 plus 7 is 9. Third one, 5.1 times 3 is 15.3 and then 10 6 times 10 3 is 10 9 we can't have 15.3 so that's 1.53 times 10 times 10 to 9 which is 1.53 times 10 to the power of 10 9 divided by 3 that's 3 and 10 to the power of 4 divided by 10 to the power of 6, 10 to the power of minus 2. That's that one. We've got 8.4 divided by 2, that's 4.2. And we've got 10 to the power of 5 divided 10 to the power of 3, which is 10 to the power of 2. We've got 2 divided by 4 here, which is 0 0.5. 
10 to the power 6 divided by 10 to the power 9, 10 to the power of minus 3. We can't have this, so we're going to have to take a 10 off of here to put onto there. So if we take 1 off of here, that becomes minus 4.